What is going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? So happy it's finally Friday. Let's look at the chat right now, guys. Let's see. We got Efren, we got Michael, Dwayne. I believe Chevrolet should have called this Corvette another name. I know I, there's a lot of people that think the new C8 Corvette shouldn't even be a Corvette anymore because it looks nothing like the other one. But we'll go ahead, we'll get into it. Let's just give it a second. We got a few people in the chat. Let's wait uh, for. Let's just wait another 30 seconds or so. Let a couple people more uh, join in. Out of um, out of all the people that are in the chat right now, who actually watched the unveiling last night? We know Dwayne. Well, Dwayne, besides besides the name that it's Corvette, what are your thoughts on on the car itself? I know my channel kind of seems like it's just a Mopar channel because a lot of my subscribers came to my channel because of my Mopars. But remember, I'm also a Corvette guy. If you look up there, there's, where is it? Over here. Yeah, you see that little yellow car? That's one of the Corvettes I had before. And the other one, there's a little other red one over there. I've already had like three Corvettes. And I've, and I've been bouncing back and forth between Corvettes and Challengers and off-road, you know, off-road vehicles. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get it started. Dwayne says, it looks like the new Ferrari that just came out. Efren says, did I hear about the new Cuda? Yes, I did. I did hear about that. I, I believe uh, Driveway Demons actually made a video on that new Cuda. So, what I don't understand, well, first of all, I'm just going to say right now, guys, I love, <laughs> I love this new C8 Corvette. Now, the C8 Corvette is very different than, like, say, my Hellcat. I believe that in an ideal world, the Hellcat has its place and the C8 Corvette has, its, has another place. Different functions for different things. I mean, I could picture my Hellcat just being, like, my drag strip car slash daily driver. I mean, my Hellcat is pretty much everything. The Vet is kind of like my exotic. It's... The, the vehicle that you would probably take out on the weekend, you know, you go take it for a spin or whatever. Maybe, you know, you got a hot date, you take, you know, pick up a girl, whatever you want to do. You know, if you're Miss Organic, you'll pick up some chicks in, in, in a new C8 Corvette. I can definitely see him in one of those also. Um, now, when they unveiled the Corvette, and Michael Corleone just mentioned it, he says it has only 450 horses. In fact, I think the actual numbers is 495 horses. I believe it's 495. Now, when they said only 495 horses, coming from a Hellcat owner that has a 1,000 crank horsepower Hellcat, I was like, yo, you know, 495 is pretty, you know, it's kind of it's kind of low. I was expecting something better. But then again, remember, this is the Stingray, which is just the base model. Usually, like about a year or year and a half later after this Stingray comes out, they're going to come out with the Z06. And then probably another couple years later, they'll come out with the ZR1. Also, keep in mind the fact that it's a mid-engine Corvette. Look, guys, my Hellcat. I have a ridiculous amount of power on my Hellcat. I also have huge Mickey Thompson ET Street R's, which are extremely expensive to use to drive around town. But I do it because I want maximum traction. And even, even me, with my Demon suspension, with all the upgrades that I've done to my Hellcat... On the street from a dig, I cannot get below uh, three seconds on a zero to 60. You have to understand that. So the fact, and, and also keep in mind, keep in mind, we got Lewis, Lewis, bro. How you doing, man? So keep in mind, think of the McLaren, even the McLaren 570. How, much, how many horses does it have? I think it's only like 560 or something like that. And that car is ridiculously fast. And don't even get me started on the McLaren like 720. You've seen all the races on Street Speed's channel. From zero to sixty, if you're if it's able to pull off um, a zero to sixty below three seconds, what is what is Lewis saying in the chat? Lewis is saying you better get that vet. Well, you better stay tuned and watch what's uh, what's about to happen right now. Zero to sixty in less than three seconds, guys. My Hellcat makes a stupid amount of power, and I don't even get that. Now at the racetrack, where uh, if I'm on a prep surface. I'll do zero to 60 in the twos without a problem. I mean, I believe my Hellcat will probably even pop a wheelie at the track if it's a prep surface with the power that it's making. 
but I've always, you know, I've never built my cars for the track. I've always built my cars for the street because whether I'm playing around in Mexico or I'm meeting up with Mata Fame or one of his private events at these air airstrips that we rent out, I'm usually driving my cars on an unprepped surface most of the time. And that's why I drive on Mickey Thompson ET Street R's on my Hellcat on a daily basis because I want maximum traction on the street. I'm not one of those guys that only uses my Hellcat and puts it on a trailer and drives it on the weekend to the track. That's that's not me. I want to use my vehicles all the time. So Dwayne is asking, is it all-wheel drive? No, it's not all-wheel drive. But who knows what's going to happen with some of the future models. So guys, this is what I'm getting at. Check this out. Look. Actually, lately I've been watching, I've always watched Toll Guy car reviews and all that. And um, lately, I got to say, his content since he moved out to LA is just fire. I'm hooked. I'm like watching like every episode now. But, you know, one thing that Corey always says, you know, you got to take a leap of faith. And that's exactly what I'm about to do. I literally, maybe about a couple hours ago, I, well, when I woke up this morning, I called, I must have called a whole bunch of different dealerships. I was trying to secure a spot. I wanted to be, I'm hoping to try and be one of the first C8 Corvette owners. So I put in calls to a bunch of dealerships. Obviously I hit up my dealership first, my local dealership, the one that I, at Chevy 112. And I hit them up first. I also, to be honest, I started using that reserve button. Remember last night during the unveiling, I hit the reserve button and I did the reserve button and I reserved C8s like at 10 or whatever uh, amount of dealerships, at least 10 different dealerships. In addition to that, this morning, I hit up my local dealership and I started contacting everybody because I was like desperate. I wanted to get my name on the list and be one of the first people. Well, I'm happy to say, guys, that I was able to get a hold of the, of the guys down at Chevy 112 in Medford, New York. Same dealership that you've seen me do the car reviews from. And I was worried that they would have already people on the list. But I called them in time. They got my name on the list. And I just finished putting a down payment on a brand new C8 Corvette. So I'm seriously hoping that this being a brand new generation Corvette on the channel, it'll help hopefully bring the channel to the next level. So there it is, guys. James C. Rides will definitely have a brand new C8 Corvette as soon as it comes out. Not only will I have a C8 Corvette when it comes out, my plans are also... You guys know I'm also a big Mopar guy. My Jeep is never going to be sold. Keep that in mind. The Jeep always stays. My ideal situation here will be whenever Dodge does the redesign, I want to get into whatever the Hellcat version of the next redesign is. Let me look at the uh, chat messages real quick. Dwayne said, congratulations. Thank you very much, brother. Kenneth Hudson, how you doing, man? Let's see. Luis Gonzalez. So... Luis Mario Gonzalez. All right. So he's just so you guys know this guy, Luis Mario Gonzalez in the chat room. He's the first person I raced when I got my Hellcat. He's the guy that had the Prius and I raced him with my Hellcat while my Hellcat was in valet mode. And believe it or not, while my Hellcat was in valet mode, Luis actually got the jump on me on that race. So yes, Luis, I already put, I got my down payment already. Um, you guys know, I don't know, actually, maybe you guys don't know. My brother, he's, I believe he's the fine, actually, hold on a second. Let me see what the chat is saying. Uh, let's see, I'm catching up with your messages. Winning is winning, Lewis says. <laughs> so anyway, I went ahead and I, we're good with the, with the deposit. Um, as of right now, they're not putting in the orders. So what I want to do is, guys, we're going to switch to the browser right now. Let's take a look at the colors because we got to figure out what color, exterior, interior, what kind of options we're going to go with. Um, we're just going to look at it right now. I have, I'm not 100% sure which one I'm going to go with. My last Corvette was Torch Red. My C6 Corvette was Velocity Yellow. And I have a C3 Corvette, which is actually still in my dad's house. That one's also red. But... This car being like an exotic looking car, I want this, I don't know, I want, I want something cool. You guys are going to help me right now. Let's just switch to the browser. We got to think of a cool color, man. Here we go. You guys can also go to this browser on your own computers whenever you're home. Project Speedy says, I made your Hellcat in Forza Horizon 4. Project Speedy, hit me up, man. Uh, hit me up on Instagram. I actually recently saw somebody else that uh, did 
I think it was in Grand Theft Auto. I somebody did a video for Tall Guy and Miss Organic. I'm dying to see whether it's Grand Theft Auto or Forza, whatever the case is. I would love to see my Jeep and Hellcat together in one of these video games. All right, so I just went to Google, type in CA Corvette, and you're gonna go to this link that's right here, guys. Let me just kind of we'll go to it together right now. This is the link right here. Hopefully you guys can see this all right. Cab 707 says, he says, you know what this is, loaded to the max. So keep in mind, guys, look, the C8 Corvette right now, if a Z06 was available, my last Corvette was a Z06. If there was a C8 Z06 available now, that's what I would be going for. But Z06 is not available. And I can only imagine, imagine this thing looks so crazy. Look at it on the screen. It looks so crazy right now. Now imagine a Z06 or ZR1. It's going to have a wider body, some crazy wing. Look, I've been a car guy my entire life. And to be honest with you, you know, as a kid, you always dream of like a Ferrari, Lamborghini. These are the cars that I used to dream of when I was a kid. But seeing the C8 Corvette, I don't know. I wonder, like, I don't think I even need an exotic vehicle anymore. Lewis Mayer says, I saw a dope forest green with tan interior. Yeah, dude. I would do forest green if I was like 60 years old. I don't know. I'm not listening to your suggestions, Lewis. I don't know what that is. I'm not doing a forest green on a C8 Corvette. I mean, that's for like an old man color. You know, I'm, I'm still kind of young. All right, I'm going to scroll down. Watch Lewis. He's going to text me later. All right, so scrolling down. Here we go. Design yours. I've been using this design feature on their website, trying to use it all day. There's so many people playing with it that it hasn't been working most of the day so let's see you see look excitement is so high we've exceeded capacity but we can still see the colors look i'm not gonna lie that the red looks pretty sick and and on top of that we can also do uh do a wrap which you know i'm gonna have to do let's see low to high says i'll be getting a base model and modding from the ground up yeah low to high i agree with you too i don't see my plan with the c8 corvette like I don't know the C8 Corvette. I feel like the Hellcat's the a type of the kind of vehicle like I always need to have like a Hellcat, but the C8 Corvette Stingray. I know the Stingray is not a car that I'm going to keep because whenever the Z06 comes out, I'm going to need that Z06 ASAP. So I don't want to go too crazy with the options on this on the base one on the on this Stingray options that I'm going to go with is probably going to be maybe the Z51. I'll do Z51 package most likely. Um, carbon fiber stuff. I mean, guys, the carbon fiber stuff, I could do carbon fiber wraps and stuff like that. But anyway, let's go down to the exterior colors. These are the colors that are available. I don't think you guys can see the colors, but let me go through them. This is shadow gray. Shadow gray metallic. I have no idea what this color looks like in person. Kevin played too much says, I heard you can't mod these. Chevy's going to avoid the warranty. Michael is asking, are you going to go with the hard top? So, Michael, if you go with the hard top, keep in mind that even with the hard top, the roof still comes off and you can put it in the trunk of the vehicle. I'm, I'm thinking about it from, I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about this car from a different point of view. For example, I'm going to get this car and then once the Z06 comes out, I, I'm going to need to get the Z06 too. So, I feel like if I get it fully loaded, I'm probably going to take a big hit on uh, when I trade in the Stingray, when it comes time to trade it in. So I love the way, I mean, I, I would probably just do like the regular hardtop, to be honest. I wouldn't get the convertible version just because on the C8, you could already remove the, the hardtop, put it in the trunk. And if you look, there's a lot of exotics. If you look at them, they look exactly the same way once you take off that hardtop. And, I, and Kev, I would not be surprised. It's probably going to be, I'm guessing they're going to be strict with the mods on the C8, but who knows? I mean, people always say that when new cars come out and people always figure out how to mod them. I can tell you for a fact that when I get my C8, you know I'm going to have to do an aftermarket exhaust. And if there is no aftermarket exhaust, we're going to have to take off those mufflers in the meantime and to really hear what this car is going to sound like. I need this thing to be loud, loud like my Hellcat loud. So anyway, that, that's shadow gray metallic. There's a blue that was kind of really calling my attention over here. What do you guys think about this? This is called rapid blue. They also have a darker blue, but this rapid blue, I was just thinking, imagine 
rapid blue with the red interior you can kind of see that it has like the red leather seats on the inside this color is something that's completely different i've never done a blue before my color that i've always done on my most of my vets has always been this one and the red looks pretty sick i'm not gonna lie the red does look sick and if you could do red with the red guts all right hold on let me look at my chat messages from you guys kenneth says that's the one which one kenneth the red or the blue like i said this blue is something that's kind of new let me see what the yellow looks like i don't know mm, it's actually it's called accelerate yellow i don't know if it's just my screen lewis i'm not listening to you you have horrible taste tan guts i'm not doing tan guts if i'm gonna do red guts there's no question have you noticed that my hellcat and my jeep both have red interiors Come on, man. You should know me. You're thinking like an old man. I don't know what's going on with you. Tell me to get forest green and tan on the inside. You're crazy. That's for when I'm like 70 years old. So Ferrari is red and tan. Yeah, I, I don't know, dude. I've always hated tan for the interior. Same thing with the Jeeps. I hate the... I've never been a fan of like the tan interior on the Jeeps. Accelerate yellow. Guys, I don't know. This yellow looks different, and I, I don't know if there's any other cars or if there's anything. I, I would love to see a real picture of this yellow because it almost reminds me of like a, like a highlighter yellow. You know, it looks like a different shade of yellow. Still, what about the orange? Let's see what the orange looks like. Somebody on Instagram recently posted this picture of the orange one too. Yeah, it does look like a highlighter yellow. Highlighter yellow is not bad. Try blue guts. Oh, and you can't you can't do blue interior, can you? Is that even an option? Let me see. Let me let me see if I can, if it'll let me switch. Right now, I know that you could do play around with the interior, but right now the the visualizer is not one hundred percent functional because there's too many people using it. But you're right, Kenneth. Imagine. Let's go back to the blue. This blue looks pretty sexy to me. The blue, I definitely like this blue. This is the darker blue, which I'm not. It's not even an option. I would not do this darker blue. But imagine this blue. Um, if I could do like a two-tone with the blue guts, that would be cool. The red interior on this blue could also work too. Kenneth says that the, on the unveiling, they showed it. So they showed blue guts. All right, so I'm going to go back to see because I was they were doing a lot of chit-chatting and talking in the unveiling, and I was just kind of skipping and trying to just – I just wanted to see the car. They had all these people coming out talking. Let's check out some of these other colors. We got Zeus bronze metallic. I don't know. Like I said, guys, we're going to rock the color that I get at first. Well, I'm going to roll with that color, but we're going to do a wrap eventually. Blue and black. So it's blue and black on the inside. Yeah, I can definitely see that looking good. But keep in mind that if we do like a color like blue on the inside, then I got to be careful with the wrap color on the outside. Loda High says, this will be my first, and I'm sure many others, first mid-engine car. Oh, yeah, for sure. White with the red guts. Yeah, white with the red guts could, you know, look okay. But it's still too vanilla for me, man. I want, I need something that, remember, I'm doing YouTube videos. I need a color that's going to pop. My last vet was bright red. These are the colors. I'm going to show you guys the colors that I'm considering. Let me see if... Uh, all right, so like, look, Lewis, this is an example of an old man's color. This is just my opinion. If any of you guys have this color, don't get offended. This is Long Beach Red Metallic Tin Coat. Looking at it on here, it almost looks like a wineish type of color. Not feeling it. If you're going to go with the red, I would go definitely with the torch red. Let's see what the blade silver metallic looks like. Mm, this, I'm switching now to ceramic matrix gray. Ceramic matrix gray. I don't know if it's my screen, but it looks white to me. See, I was hoping that there was going to be a color that's probably be maybe similar to maybe like something a little similar to destroyer gray or something like that. I'm wondering, I wonder what the ceramic matrix gray looks like. Imagine, so Lewis, what do you think about this ceramic matrix gray with the red interior? The ceramic is so exclusive. All right. Then um, let's see. We got shadow gray metallic. Let's see what that, I don't even know. See, this could possibly be a, a cool looking color too. 
Hmm. Now this this I don't know like this to me like this it's called rapid blue, but I consider it almost like a baby blue type color. It's, this color I don't know I don't know why this color is like calling to me like the most as of right now, but hopefully before I actually have to place the order right now I just put the deposit down. Lewis is saying, look at the premiums they want for the C7 ceramic. Yeah, there's no, it doesn't show you pricing yet. There's no pricing on the, on the website. But as of right now, guys, hopefully they, hopefully people stop using this, uh, this tool on their website so I could actually play around with it and play with the interior and exterior colors. Uh, Kenneth Hudson is saying yes with blue brakes. Yeah, you could do the blue uh, brake calipers for sure on something like this. Now the wheels, I would definitely do maybe like a satin black or gloss black wheels with this color too. Probably do that with most of the colors and the blue calipers. Now we don't even have the car yet. We're already thinking of uh, modifications. All I know is that that exhaust system is definitely, we're going to definitely have to do something with that too. So now let me get your opinion, guys. Right now on the channel, we're right over 30,000 subscribers. Um, recently, YouTube actually introduced the membership option, which is really cool because this way subscribers that want to help and support the channel, they can. But my question to you guys is, look, you guys are my subscribers. You're the viewers. I got my wide body Hellcat and I got the Jeep. The Jeep is never going to go anywhere. So my question to you is, should I eventually get rid of the Hellcat to get the C8 or keep the Hellcat and add the C8 Corvette also? Because to me, that would be the ideal solution, depending on how the channel goes between now and 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 uh, the delivery time for the C8 Corvette. I'm seriously considering keeping the Hellcat and the C8. We'll we'll talk about that stuff in future videos. Kev is saying 60k ain't bad for starting. Project Speed says keep the Hellcat and the C8. I think it would be awesome to keep to keep them both. In all honesty, though, keep in mind, I'm not sure when Dodge is coming out with, with their redesign, but once they come out with that redesign, I need the redesigned version of the Hellcat because I'm hearing crazy things about that. So white with the red accents is what Don is saying. Kenneth is saying keep that beastly Hellcat. Yo, I'm, I just drove the Hellcat to the dealership. Guys, I, it's so much fun driving the Hellcat. It just looks crazy. It looks so mean. Guys, you're going to see me busting out videos left and right. I'm really going to hustle. I'm really, like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to give it my, sh my best shot. I want to try and see if we can keep that Hellcat and add the C8 Stingray on the channel also. One or the other. It, it, it's either that's going to happen or I have a feeling Lewis has rent out the Hellcat with the valet key. I'll rent it out to you, bro. Let me know. The other option is I believe that this C8 Corvette, if I do things right and I put out the videos... I keep doing what I'm doing. I believe that the C8 Corvette being a brand new generation Corvette, if I do all my little tricks with my videos that I've been doing, everything I've learned on YouTube, I believe the C8 Corvette will help grow the channel. And if I did have to get rid of the, the Hellcat, I would get the C8 Corvette and then go ahead and buy the brand new Hellcat, the redesigned version that I was talking about. Well, let's see what we do. Because if not, if I could keep both and maybe we could just trade in the Hellcat for the new Hellcat once that comes out. Let's see what happens. That really, it all really depends on the growth of the channel. All I know is the C8 Corvette is a sure thing. That is definitely coming to the channel 100%. The rest, we're going to figure it out as we go along. Guys, play around with the with this configurator. If you guys, I'm starting to see, I already saw a real orange Corvette, the Sebring orange tin coat. Somebody already found a picture of it, took a picture of the real thing on Instagram. If any of you guys come across any of these other colors, not these fake looking pictures, but real pictures, please send them my way. I already saw the torch red. I saw the or the orange one. Any of the other colors, DM me on Instagram, jmcrides.official. Send me those pictures, man. I'm sure you would get a major boost with when you get the C8. I know, Dwayne, I, that's what I really think. And as much as I love a Hellcat, and I do not want to see the Hellcat go because I'm a huge Mopar fan. You know, I mean, I'm a Mopar guy and I'm also a Corvette guy and I'm a Jeep guy. You know, these are the cars that need to be in my driveway. So, like I said, even if the Hellcat did have to go because 
you know, financially I couldn't swing to do the Hellcat and the CA. You got to keep in mind, my Jeep is already like a hundred thousand dollar Wrangler. It's there's a lot of money in the cars over here. But I believe even if I had to get rid of the Hellcat by me buying the C8 and me doing my thing on social media and just putting out those videos and hustle, I would be able to bring back the brand new Hellcat and the Stingray. Yeah, bro, the Hellcat is just going to go down in value and the new vet would definitely help the channel. That's what Kev Play too much is saying. Uh, Kev Play says, take the Hellcat lost and hop in the C8. Yeah, so the, the C8 Corvette, guys, that's not even like I'm wondering or I'm thinking I'm going to get it. The deposit was already put down. The C8 Corvette is a sure thing. I, and the other sure thing is that I definitely also need to have another Mopar in my driveway. I want whatever the next Hellcat is that comes out. When I see the next Hellcat, I'm not talking about Hellcat Widebody Charger. I'm talking about the redesigned Hellcat. Once that comes out, we need to get that to the drive in, in my driveway also. And I, I don't know. I'm like, like I, I think I'm watching Tall Corey is going to make me broke from Tall Guy Car Reviews because I'm watching Corey. He's got the McLaren. He's got the uh, the the Hellcat Red Eye Wide Body, and he's got the truck. Now, I'm not a big fan of like the like the pickup trucks like that. Personally, I would have a Gladiator if I was going to have a pickup truck. But my lineup, you know, I, I'm always going to have a Jeep in my driveway. And if I could have the Jeep, Hellcat, C8 Corvette, God, I don't even know. that. that it, I mean, that's like hitting the lottery if I could swing to have all three. But like I said, we're going to hustle on, on YouTube, guys. We're going to put out those videos. We're going to try and make this thing happen for real. Project Speedy says, I'm getting ready to send you a picture of your Hellcat in Forza. Definitely. And let me ask you a question. If you send me a picture on, send me the picture, I guess, on Instagram, um, is there any way you can actually send me that car within the game so that I can actually use it when I'm playing the game? Let me know. I'm not too familiar, but I do have, I definitely do have Xbox. So let me know. Corey and three is going nuts and Cali doing the same. I know, but to be honest with you, you know, Miss Organic and Corey, first of all, I think Miss Organic has to move to LA because I've, I don't know why, but I've been hooked on his uh, videos. Um, since he went to LA, I've been hooked on his videos. And I always used to watch uh, Corey on Tall Guy, even before he left uh, Minnesota. But I don't know. These guys in LA and the two of them together, like the content is great. Love it. And Tall Guy's always, you know, motivational. You know how he is. Project Speedy says, yes, I can auction it to you so you can use it. All right, so we got to see. I'm going to be on the lookout for your message uh, on Instagram, Project Speedy. I can't wait to see it. Once you send it to me, I'll post it on my Instagram too, and I'll tag you. All right, guys, so I'm not, I don't want to drag out this video too long. It's already been 30 minutes. It's crazy how fast time flies when we're talking about cars, man. I can talk to you guys about cars for hours. So the, here we go. Again, Rapid Blue, please, guys, keep in mind, send me pictures of these Corvettes, real pictures. Don't send me like the like the fake version of the picture like what we're looking at right now. If you see anybody, well, we got somebody who just tried to message me. Larry Anthony says, what's up? Goodbye to my Z06, Z07. I'm ordering my new Series 8 tomorrow. That's awesome, man. Congrats. All right, no problem, Project uh, Speedy. I appreciate the, uh, the design on the Hellcat. I can't wait to see it. So guys, like I said, any if you come across any real pictures, I know we're going to start seeing real pictures of the C8 in all different colors. DM me on IG. I'll post it up. I'll tag you. Um, if you guys have friends that are into cars, tell them about my channel. Share the channel. If you get them to sub <clears throat> excuse me, if you get them to subscribe, take a snapshot of it, send it to me on IG. I'll tag you on there. I'll post it up. Let's blow up this channel. Let's get that C8 Hellcat Jeep in this driveway. I want to thank all of you guys so much for all the support. We're going to wrap this video up. Um, if it's your first time on the channel, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you can sign up for notifications. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.